Navigator channel. Navigator channel is a channel for all those guitarists who cannot play the guitar, but they love to turn the knobs. In today's episode, we're gonna come back to the classic guitar effect, which is Foo's Overdrive from Electro Harmonics, and it's called Big Muff P. As you can see, this is the green version. This is a new reissued version from Electro Harmonics, and it uh, reminds us about the history of Electro Harmonics when the brand was making the effects uh, in Russia with the company called Softec, which is well known for making uh, valves in the world, you know, the tubes the one you're using. Uh, why am I happy to have this effect? Because a couple of episodes ago we had the same approach of the of the effect, so green Russian, uh, you know, by big, I mean big ma, big ma P, green Russian, but made by Frederick FX from, from the UK, which was quite inspired by or the not so direct copy of the of the original one. Uh, here they say, besides the size of it, you know, and beside the fact that it's all SMD uh, and it's smaller and it's it's new and it's not made in Russia, they say in, in electric harmonics it sounds exactly the same and it's like, you know, direct copy of the effect with the tonal structure little bit like there is like little, they, they push the bass a little bit more so it's like a little bit more round on the edges of of the of the bass unfortunately i don't know how the real thing sounds and even if i know probably it would be better to compare it directly unfortunately as well i don't have the frederick effects anymore so i cannot compare them directly and I cannot, you know, dial them exactly the same and, and see if they sound the same. But for me, those effects sound exactly the same and it's the sound which is biting itself, the sound which is choking in, in, the, high, in the high frequencies, this is the sound which is like really, really strange and I would like say, I would say like eating itself, you know, and like one wave is going to another and it's like fighting inside, you know, all the notes are fighting inside of it and what you hear outside is like strange and, and they, people say it's overdrive and it's even written here in, in, in Russian overdrive, but I would say it's still like a fuzz effect with a bit of overdrive and it's still having this harshness of, of fuzz and that's, and that's how I, that's how I see it. 
it's not it's not bad if you like this kind of sound so if you play stoner rock you would love it if you want to have a special reef recorded with something with this with the very special sound uh, and you want this riff to be like jumping out of the of the song you will love it as well if you want your solos to be played with long notes and if you want those solos to be as well outstanding then you will like this effect but if you want to play um, trash metal you're not gonna like it if you want to play very if you want to play something which is sitting in some kind of genre and it's not going outside of the box you're not gonna like it this is the effect for those ones who are rather looking for strange sounds beside the fact it's on the market from 1970s uh, and people already found a lot uh, of different sounds on this effect beside the fact there is like only three knobs you can still find something for yourself the effect reads the pickups very well the pickups configuration very well it reads the uh, the guitar very well and and even though it's very very specific and the sound coming out of it is very determined i would say it gives you lots of like the feel of creation for yourself and you can you can work with it and you can find your own way with this with this effect so that's that's very very good it's not for everyone like i said but if you love it, you will need it every every single time. David Gilmour, uh, Carlos Santana, Finn Lizzy, Smashing Pumpkins. So, you know, from rock to through stoner rock. I didn't mention anybody from the stoner rock, but I know that they're using it. But as well, Grunge, which was like the godfather of stoner rock. Uh, uh, those kind of music. Punk rock probably as well. Lots of people are using it with bass guitar. And so so that's that's what it is. That's what it is for, you know, for those ones. Lots of different guitars, like I said, lots of different pickups we're gonna try. We're gonna try two amplifiers and three different uh, type of recording. One will be with EVH, uh, with SM57, one will be with the copy of, of, of 57 and a small Polish amplifier Mad Dog. And then as well, I'm gonna play with some, uh, uh, you know, like backing tracks from, from YouTube and i'm gonna play some kind of pentatonic solos uh, with it and you're gonna find out how it sounds in the mix let's say but i'm recording it with the microphone from zoom from zoom q8 somewhere somewhere here in the room so it's just like i'm here, standing here and listening to it what is funny it doesn't sound exactly the same when you're playing in this kind of environment comparing to the sound that actually you get out of it when you playing just just with this effect without any other instruments so so that's what it is and on the recording with the backing tracks it doesn't give exactly same feelings which is quite strange but saying something about this effect so you know if you like it you like it if you hate it you hate it if you like this channel uh, leave the thumb up and subscription if you don't like it don't watch it anymore and bye bye